everyone, and welcome back to The Little Blue Fly. If you are new to my channel, I invite you to subscribe. Also, tap on that bell and select all to receive all of my future postings. May this video find you all in the many comforts that autumn brings. It's the time of year where nature blesses us with its final splendor of rich colors. Oh, delicious autumn, how you inspire my soul. That being said, let's begin, shall we? So we are going to start right here in this corner. I was hoping that my furniture piece would show up in time and it's not. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to plan B and hopefully I will get this piece of furniture soon. So here we go. We are going to start with this Christmas tree. It's a holiday living tree, a 7.5 foot pre-lit. I purchased it from Lowe's. I will also link in my Amazon store some similar trees to these. I also have put in some Christmas shopping lists as well. So here it is. It was quite easy to put together, just three simple pieces, and her glow is absolutely beautiful. I like how the majority of all of the branches look and feel real. So I added this wonderful aged chippy goodness welcome fall sign that was purchased from decor stills on to the back wall. I didn't know if I needed to go large or smaller and I said let's go large. So I was planning on actually placing this inside of the piece of furniture that was supposed to make it here but since that didn't happen it's just going to go right here on the wall for now. Now there is also some extra space behind here and I'm really needing to fill it up. It's just too empty and I didn't want to push the tree all the way back into the corner. So, I added this hurricane that I purchased from Pier 1. So, I'm going to start by placing this berry garland onto the tree. Just actually a couple garlands. Now, I want to keep this tree a little bit on the simple side because I have so much going on. This basket was purchased from World Market. I'm just going to place it right up front. I added two smaller baskets on the left and right hand side of the tree. Now I know many of you say pan out, pan out. I just, I cannot. There's just too much going on. So eventually though, I will. So this pick was actually purchased from Kirkland's and this one from Hobby Lobby. And that one was New River Pottery as well. No, Kirkland's, I apologize. So I'm just gonna place the three together. I'll put the largest in the back and fan it out. And then the middle size I'll put in the middle 
and then the smaller up front. And I'll just begin weaving them together to give it more of a natural feel and look. placed it on the side of the basket and I have this rooster that I purchased from Hobby Lobby on top. Now I'm going back and forth with it. You'll see in the video sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. I added a blessed picture up front that was purchased from Michaels and a little bit of moss in the basket. And as you can see, the rooster is still there. Now I'm going to add some bird prints onto the tree, three of them, and these were purchased at Hobby Lobby. Again, I'm keeping things very simple because there's just so much going on in the living room. As simple as I can be, anyhow. <laughs> and this sweet harvest sign. I actually purchased this from Etsy. If you go onto Etsy, there's so many wonderful things that can be purchased there. And then some wheat and hay. These both came from New River Pottery. I surely am gonna miss them. They're only in North Carolina. So the harvest sign and the wheat was placed up on the tree and now a couple picks around the sign. Now, this is funny, I'm gonna place pumpkins on the tree, but I couldn't find them for the life of me. I could not find these pumpkins. And then I realized, so here's the pumpkin on the side of the tree. I used them when I decorated my ladder up above the sofa. I was like, silly girl. And I also filled the smaller baskets with pumpkins as well. And I'm going to add some more wheat and hay straw at the bottom of the tree. So this wonderful yellow pumpkin was purchased from Hobby Lobby. And some wheat picks. I don't remember where I purchased those from. I apologize. And the rooster. Because as you can see, I took the rooster off. So I have decided it is there to stay. And again, I placed the pumpkin in. Now I've added a few smaller pumpkins in the tree and I added some mushrooms and pine cone picks. Now I want to work in this lantern that I'm going to be placing next to the tree. The lantern was purchased from Hobby Lobby, the candles from Home Goods, and the candle stand from Hobby Lobby. I'll be using a few fall picks. It was actually a garland and I just cut them off. Some berries from Hobby Lobby and a pick from Hobby Lobby as well. and two different types of fall, for, fall floral. 
It's just gonna be just that simple. I just take them both and fan them out. Now I'm not going to fan them out as much as I normally would because we are obviously in a limited space here within the lantern. And then I'm just going to again weave them through to give them more of a natural feel and look. I just love fall colors. So warm. So inviting. They're not only calming to look at, but calming to work with as well. Just gonna place them in the back. Gonna add in the candle stand because I just I wanted to lift one candle up. And the candle again came from Home Goods. They are by Makasa. And I actually decided for this, I I wanted the candle on as I was putting together this arrangement. I just felt for the glow. Now, as you can see, the front of the lantern, the door, the glass actually broke out and it, it's actually perfect. I'm just going to tuck it here and there. I'm just going to place in one simple pick right up front. and then one to the side. And I believe we have it. Close the door, just comes out nicely. Very natural look. But there is something missing. <laughs> I tried a few berries. I purchased them at Hobby Lobby and they just will make any arrangement pop. I love working with the berries. And of course, a little bit of moss. I always love placing the mosses in. I know you guys have heard me say it a million times and you'll hear it a million more. It just gives your arrangements life and you know, just some depth and just really brings a lot of character to an arrangement. And just one little loose flower. <laughs> Perfect. I just tuck the lantern back beside the tree in front of the Pier 1 hurricane. Now I'm happy. The little space is filled. I'm 
Now I'm going to be working with all of this goodness right here. I'm going to build up my antique vintage gold tiered tray now of several different pumpkins and gourds and fall picks and I started with the garland from Hobby Lobby and just wired it onto the tray and I'm gonna place this wonderful aged looking basket up at top. I'm going to be placing some moss in the basket. and a different variety of moss. I just love the look of this pumpkin. So I'm just placing pieces of moss around in the bottom of the arrangement. It's just gonna help lift things up a bit and give that wonderful visual interest as well. Now when I do the pumpkins, I like putting them all in, I don't like them all going the same direction. I like placing them in different directions. Adding in some eucalyptus. now going to place in these gourds and I'm a little bit oh a little bit uneasy on whether I should place these gourds here or not and you're about to find out why in just a moment just add all these different wonderful harvest elements in the arrangement But I don't know, guys. We'll see. Just going to place in a few fall picks. I didn't want the leaves to stand out real strong, so I really wanted to tuck them in quite a bit. Add some more goodness. I love all these colors. And I just really feel something looking at me. I don't know. I think we might be okay. I added a little fig. I just want a little bit of height behind the basket. Just going to add this little piece of greenery. And now some wonderful acorns. I purchased these from Wegman's grocery store. I kind of feel like I'm in a bit of trouble now that I'm placing down these acorns. Oh boy. Uh-huh. I just knew Persimmon would find her way down to the goodness. You know, I felt her curious little eyes coming off the mantle as I was creating this piece. We have an agreement. She can gather acorns if she promises not to make a mess of things. Just look, she made her own little path coming down to all of the goodness, silly girl.
Now I'm just going to add again some fall leaves. Just randomly placing them around. Now to add just one more thing and she will be perfect. Berries.